So here's something that you may or may not know, and it is in the documentation, but it's also something that doesn't like pop out and say, hey, here I am. <laughs> when you are utilizing a managed Kubernetes service like an AWS or Azure or something like that, and when you decide to utilize the default CNI, the default container network interface, which allows you to create that internal Kubernetes network for your pods and your services and everything else that needs an IP address. Those default CNIs do not allow for network policies. Now, real quick, what are network policies? Network policies allow you to either allow or accept, deny, block, ingress, egress for both outside of the Kubernetes network and inside of the Kubernetes network. So I'll give you an example. Maybe you only want ingress to come in for a particular service running in Kubernetes from this public IP address. Now on the flip side, maybe you want all of the pods in this namespace to not be able to talk to the pods in this namespace. So no communication going between pods. And from a security perspective, that's something that I haven't seen any organization not want to implement that because it's very, very crucial. Okay. So again, when you're using these managed Kubernetes services, you may spin up this entire environment and then you might say, uh oh, can't, you know, utilize network policies, which is obviously going to be a big deal. So let's learn how to implement one of the most popular security centric CNIs, Cilium. Okay. So I'm in VS Code here and really quick just to showcase this, this to you. I am running an AKS cluster and I'm running three worker nodes. Now, this installation, this setup is going to be the same regardless of where you're running, okay? So first things first, you're gonna to wanna to add the Helm repo. Next, you're gonna to want to install Cilium with a few different pieces. Now, there are a ton of different values that you can add here for even encrypting east-west traffic. I've just kept it pretty basic and simple for us. So we're enabling the ENI, IPAM, egress to ensure that it's pointing to the right network interface in our cluster, disabling any tunneling, and then initiating our nodes and ensuring that queue proxy is replaced. Now again, we don't even have to do this if we don't want to. This is just a standard installation. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna run this. All right, so now that is deployed, and if I run kubectl get pods namespace cube system, and I scroll up, we can see that everything is still being initialized. So we're gonna wait for all of this to kind of come up for us. Now, really quick, if this does fail for you, and it's gonna depend on, again, where you're running it. So for example, in Azure, I've set Azure to be enabled. I've set the tunnel to be disabled like we saw before, and then I set another Azure piece for IPAM mode, all right? So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna remove this IPAM mode. But again, it's all going to depend on how and where you are running it, just so you know. All right, and once that is deployed and ready to go, you're gonna now see these Cilium nodes and the operator and the pods come up for you inside of your environment. Now, if that doesn't work for you, we're gonna go over one more way to utilize this inside of Azure. So if I scroll down here a little bit on this documentation, you can see that you can register a cluster for a particular services. And in this case, we can do it for the data plane preview because at this time, Cilium is in beta or preview, I forget which one, but one of those. So depending on when you're watching this, the Helm piece may or may not work. That Helm chart that I showed in the beginning definitely works in EKS. But if it doesn't in AKS, you can utilize this documentation right here. So now, once you do that, you are then able to utilize network policies. So as we discussed, network policies are incredibly crucial because it is literally the entry point or egress point, your ingress or your, your egress for any Kubernetes resources running inside of your environment. So you wanna ensure that regardless of what CNI you get up and running, make sure that it's security centric, make sure that it does have network policies available. With that, thank you so much for watching.